Hi y'all, Kraken Latte here. It's that time of the week again where I bring you some random fact that may or may not be helpful right out of my back pocket. That's right, this is a Kraken fact. If you're like me and you use multiple World of Warcraft accounts, then you've surely noticed one major factor. Each WoW account, even if on the same Battle.net account, since you can have up to eight, has to have its own separate subscription. This can get expensive real quick if you're using real money, but luckily we have options, specifically by using in-game gold. There are a few ways you can do this, such as milling gold to a character on that account if they're on the same server, or using gold directly from that character's inventory if they have enough. The problem with both of those options, though, is that it's easy to forget to plan in advance for this. So if your account goes inactive, like this one here, these options don't always work for some reason, even if you do, in fact, have enough gold on hand. I've run into this a lot lately. What's more, you lose access to a lot of services you would need to normally access your gold. To name a few, you can't use a guild bank even if you're already in a guild, which is where I prefer to keep all my gold. You can't open your mail, you can't trade with other players, and you can't even use the auction house. Not that you'd want to use the auction house anyway since you can't use your mail. Plus, if you level beyond level 20, you can't log into that character at all. This poses a problem, since you need all of those ways to gain access to gold, even if you already have it. You used to be able to just mail the gold to an alt on that account, even if it was inactive, and even if they couldn't open it. So long as it was in their mail, you could use it to activate that account with the gold option. But I've noticed this has not been working for a while. But don't worry, there's an even better way to resub an account with gold than all of that. WoW tokens. You can buy these from the auction house with gold and use them to either add game time directly to the account you're currently on, or use them for Battle.net balance. It used to be that if you couldn't buy the token on the account you needed it on because that account was inactive, remember you can't use the auction house without a sub, you had to either use it in advance, which is very easy to forget about, or do some shenanigans with Battle.net Balance, in which you'll be working at a loss. The Battle.net Balance route comes at that loss because a token will only turn into the cost of a monthly subscription, not what the WoW token was actually bought for. So you can see how that gets funky there. However, we don't have to mess with any of that now because I've recently found that Blizzard has added a new, way better feature to the token. If you buy a token on your main account and just leave it in your bags, don't use it here, you can actually then log into your expired alt account so long as it's on the same battle net and get hit with this message. Why yes, I do have a token I'd like to use. Thank you. And just like that, you're back in business. It seems to like to disconnect me after doing this, but that's okay. Just reconnect and you're good to go. Obviously, this method is for players looking to sub multiple WoW accounts on the same Battle.net account. Remember, you can have up to eight. If you're wanting to do this for a single account or multiple Battle.net accounts, well, I'm afraid you'll have to do some pre-planning or go the Battle.net balance route. But of course, I'm sure folks in the comments have methods that they use for those situations though, right? Please let us know. Did you know I stream on Twitch now? I do everything from transmog to leveling to gold making and I'm live five days a week to chat with. So come hang out. And there we have it. If you think I've missed information or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.